Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've done something uh, or posted up something uh, as of late. Usually it was live streaming or whatnot. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to talk about a little bit more about uh, the Giants a little bit. New York Giants, the football team. Since it's Super Bowl weekend coming up this weekend soon. Um, and interesting to see, like, with Saquon Barkley, it makes sense for him. I mean, the fact that he was burned by the Giants, that he should just leave and go to another team. The only thing is, is, unfortunately, I, I, it's one of those things for me, I, as a Giants fan, I would love to see him as a Giants, a lifelong Giant, and retire as a Giant. But realistically speaking, we know that's not going to happen because the Giants, they're not going to offer him uh, the amount of money that he's looking for. I mean, it'd be great if they could, but it's not happening. Um, I'm a little surprised to the point where it's come down to this. Um, I, I, there's two factors. One that unfortunately is against um, against Saquon's. Basically, what's going against Saquon basically is this: is the dude's got the the number of mileage on him uh, for the amount of time he's played, and like also injury prone as well too. Uh, he wants his big big payday. The real question is, can he get that big payday? It's hard to say because I think Schoen might have done something. Joe Schoen might have done something which might have been, on his perspective, maybe brilliant. I don't know. It all depends how this all plays out, but. Um, with the way that, you know, Sean did basically was like, oh, let's just sign him for one year and see what happens. Because, like, if he gets injured, we can, like, you know, offer him less. Reality is, chances are he's probably going to offer him less or maybe just the same amount as well, too. Because I know Saquon wants that, you know, long-term long -term contract, but still that big payday. And Sean's not willing to do that, which makes sense from his perspective as well, too. Now... Saquon going to another team would make sense, but the problem is other teams are not going to be paying. He's not going to break the bank of these other teams as well, too. Honestly, if Saquon wants to win, then he's going to have to take a big, you know, pay cut. There's no way he's going to be able to get the money he's want. I mean, yes, he's that offensive tool where he's a two-way player, like a guy that can go on the receiving end as well as run the ball. So that's one of those things where, like, you know, he'd work perfectly with, I hate to say, his Kansas City. Um or with Philadelphia, uh, but more so maybe with the um, the Browns also makes sense in a situation, depending if he comes back. I also CJ Stroud with the Texans. Um, that would work out perfectly for him. And as well as, honestly, maybe with the Buffalo Bills, honestly, with him and Jared together, uh, Jared Allen, they might be able to, like, you know, get the Bills to that next level, essentially. Because you got St uh, Stephon Diggs. So, like, I think they just need that extra level. And, you know, you got that quarterback. I mean, Buffalo already has uh, – I forgot the quarterback, uh, the running back's name on Buffalo. But, uh, I mean, they already have him, and he's doing decent enough at that point, too. So, the only other team I can think of is on the AFC side, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I mean, that makes more sense. And they make they become a more deadly weapon than, all, uh, than normal. Um, the other aspect is is – I don't know what other team he can go to, but the problem is, is like he's not going to break the bank. And I hate to say this, but like if I'm him, if he wants to win and he wants that bowl, you go to the team that you know, like and take that pay cut. Uh, or if you want to at least be in those AFC or NFC championships, at least you take that pay cut. I mean, Falcons makes no sense. Uh, Packers do in a ways, uh, but the Packers now have their own, uh, you know, uh, running back at this point as well too. Cowboys, I would say more as well too, but it doesn't. But the Philadelphia Eagles are probably the more logistical choice for him, basically. Uh, logistically speaking. No, not logistically, but logically speaking. I mean, sorry. Logically, it makes more sense for him to go there. Because why? Philadelphia doesn't really have a really good running game. So you putting him on there, they're, they're like a dual... They become a dual threat at that point. Hale hurts if he doesn't play up to his expectations. At least, you know, you've got... Uh, Saquon that could actually take all, take the load away from him and then go up and do it, you know, what he needs to do. I mean, honestly, if he goes to Buffalo, J him and Jared Allen together, I mean, I think I, I, the duo of him and uh, beside Jared Allen, the, I forgot the other running back's name on Buffalo. 
they could, you know, that could be a tandem that they could get to that next level and they'd actually propel him up higher. But the question is, is does Saquon go there? I don't know. Honestly, like I said, as a Giants fan, I would love to see him. But the problem is, to see him remain as a Giant, but the problem is, is the next two years, they're not going to be, well, they're not going to be good offensively speaking. They're going to rely too heavily on him to the point where, like he, the man will be injured too much. Uh, unless they get a really good quarterback, that could be that temporary stopgap or whatnot. I don't know. Do the Giants draft a good QB? I don't know if that's going to happen as well, too, because like I don't think Caleb is going to be that player. Um, so it will be interesting to see what happens. Right, CJ Stroud, I'll, I'll say this. CJ Stroud and Hurts, they both remind me a little bit of Cam Noon a little bit. Like, you know, he was good for those three. Then once he hits that peak, he'll draw, you know, it'll be a sudden decline, uh, sudden drop. So I think that's one of the things where we don't want to see that with the Giants if they're going to draft another quarterback. DeVito is not your quarterback of the future. Let's be honest. He's not that quarterback of the future. Daniel Jones, I hate to say this, release him, cut him, because like he's not that quarterback. I have a feeling he goes to under any other system outside of San Francisco. He doesn't do well. But in any case, uh, actually, you know what? I, I, to be honest, I just thought about it right now. For Saquon, it probably makes more sense for him to go to Detroit. He goes to Detroit. He'll become a god there at that point. And he, if he brings the Lions into the to the Super Bowl, he becomes a god at that point. Um, but in any case, um, Saquon, I hate to say it, I don't want to see him leave, but Daniel Jones, I've said it for all of last year, and I'm going to still start saying it to this year until Daniel Jones proves me wrong, which I hope he does, but he's not. I know. I can tell he's not. The Giants made a mistake. Gettleman made a mistake when he drafted him. I thought it was a big mistake. Honestly, if we didn't have Daniel Jones, we probably could have gotten Justin Herbert, honestly. We could have gotten Justin Herbert, and we would be like in a great position right now, but we didn't. Gettleman screwed the spooch, screwed the Giants up, so now we're going to have to wait for another once-in-a-lifetime generational talent to come by hopefully soon. Uh, we're not going to see another Herbert for a while. Uh, maybe you could find another Tom Brady down the line somewhere. I don't know. It's hope. It would be great if he could, but I doubt it. Uh, but in any case, yeah. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts. Um, do you think Pur Purdy, not Purdy, do you think Saquon should bite the bullet and stay with the Giants if he wants to retire as a Giant? Or do, should he leave to go to a winning team? Similarly, should the Giants drop Daniel Jones? Or do you think the Giants give him one more two, one or two more years and see how he well develops? Or do they get another quarterback and they drop Daniel Jones? I Like I said, I you know my feelings about him. I, I'm open to listening to everyone else's Um opinion about it uh with the the giants honestly I, i'm not expecting much from them next year as well too for the next season they're not going to do well uh, if they do i'd be really surprised and amazed but i doubt that's going to be the case if the defense can come back up to where it needs to be then probably they might be close to the point of a playoff pitcher but i don't think they're a playoff team honestly until they retool their entire... They, they got to rebuild, honestly. They got to rebuild. But let me know your thoughts. Uh, again, if you like my video, like my content, like my channel, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And again, as always, if you leave a comment, I do read my comments. I do read them all, and I do respond to them when they weren't a response, if they need a response. So again, please leave a comment if you want to. Um, ideally, more specifically to the uh, context at hand for the video. Uh, so that'd be great. But with that, I'll leave it at that, unfiltered, unedited, and of course, always unrehearsed. Until next time.